It is time now to kick off our full body fit series. And this morning we're focusing on a part of the body that's inspired dozens of songs and workouts, your booty. Here's a quick look at the science behind toning it. Mega hit music videos venerate them. Jennifer Lopez and Iggy Azalea both rocking the best of the bottoms. And Fergie doing the same with her distinguished derriere. But what's the science behind the better backside? Everybody wants a high, round butt. And that really means all three of the butt muscles, the gluteus maximus, the gluteus medius, and the gluteus minimus. The key is exercises that can activate all three of these muscles at the same time. That'll make it look better, but more importantly, it'll make it work better. In fact, a scientific review of studies on the matter found this exercise, the forward step up, to be the most effective way to maximize your gluteus maximus. When you do a forward step up, you bring your foot up on a table or a block and you push up in the air. This activates all three of the butt muscles and over time, you can train them to be bigger, stronger, and work more effectively for you. And it is great to have celebrity trainer Harley Pasternak here with us this morning and to show us some moves we can do at home. Yeah. You have trained some pretty high-level uh, superstars. <laughs> yep. Booties, yes, Jessica Simpson, Halle Berry, Lady Gaga. My wife. Your wife, yep. exactly. Okay, so what's your best advice for someone who's trying to transform their derriere? I mean, number one is no matter what exercise we do today, you gotta still walk, you gotta hit your step goal every day, you gotta eat properly, you gotta sleep. But on top of that, these are some great butt sculptors. Okay. Okay, and you're gonna show us four simple moves people can do simple at home. Simple moves, no dumbbells, no, very little to no equipment needed today. The first one over here is a step up. Now, you can use a picnic bench, you can use a flight of stairs. Look how simple this is. They're driving up through their heel. Simple they have one foot watch, up there. Harley, simple, simple to watch. To <laughs> and, and as you become stronger, use a higher yeah, step. How many of those do you do? You can do about 20,000. No. <laughs> I would start off at sets of 10, build up rep wise, and build up height, and then eventually you can hold little dumbbells. Okay. All right. Simple movement. Should you do like three sets? Like three sets of 10? Start or? off one set of 10. One set of 10. If you have no injuries, build it up to two sets, three sets. I would say when you get to five sets, it's time to up your reps. Okay. And yeah. maybe get some dumbbells. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Then here behind okay, us. Okay. This is great. This is a hip thrust. Now, the step up was a combination of legs and butt. Works. This is super. Now, here's a simple, basic one lying on the floor. And I've noticed she's got her fists on her hips with her thumbs up. And when she looks up, her thumb and her knees should be lined up. That's how you know how high you're going. And right over here, we have a bridge or a hip thrust, uh, an elevated hip thrust. Is that harder? And this well, one's a little more shaking. intense, yeah, the I one where your upper body's <laughs> elevated. She's doing a great job of driving up through her heels. Her chin's tucked in. She's looking forward. Great, great, great butt mover. You could use the couch for that. See, I knew it'd come in you handy. You could. <laughs> the, the couch, the bed, the dining oh, room yeah. table. All right, reverse lunges. You know we were going to do some lunges yeah. today. Yeah. Whether it be... A walk lunge down Broadway, a reverse lunge, a skater lunge, a curtsy lunge. These are all great simple movements. We're stepping back. And notice I'm having them actually grab the leg they're using. Their hand is grabbing the butt underneath so they know which side to drive up from. And they're oh. putting all their weight on their front heel. Okay. That's great nice movement. I've Good job. That one. And what okay. about this Superman? This one is, okay, it looks like a super. It does look like a Superman. Woman hybrid. I call this the dolphin extension, lying on a bench, grab uh, something solid underneath, and she's just contracting her lower back and her butt because they work together and it's great for posture and it sculpts and tones the top of the butt. Great movement. How many times a week should you be doing these exercises? I, look, two to three times a week in combination with training the rest of your body. So making sure there's balance with your hamstring, your quads, your core, all the other muscles in your body. But these are great movements to sprinkle in. I would pick two of them maybe each time you do it, two to three times a week two to three sets okay that's yep. not bad how often do you suggest cardio a week because obviously that's a big part of this you know i don't even talk about cardio anymore i think about steps right i think you got to be doing at least 10,000 steps a day i get my clients doing at least 14,000 steps a yep. day you got to get enough sleep you got to eat well and you got to have a really great workout outfit that's so important oh my gosh that's so and important then, then it comes in handy i'm a shopper for that stuff so right? it's good but thank you very much harlie for you. being thank here giving us some cheats at home